Today's video is about team flows. I know, it's an old concept, it's not anything new, but a lot of people still don't quite know what it means. So this actually came to me from the community. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit more about it once we dive in, but uh, I actually really enjoy this where the community comes and asks me a question and I can turn it into a piece of information that everybody can use. So thank you so much for the question. Really appreciate it. Let's dive in. All right. So this should be fairly quick. This actually, this video is inspired. Uh, I had a question in the community last week. Uh, somebody came up to me and said, Oh, John, uh, how do I set up a flow and use a service account for the email? But my IT team owns that service account and they don't want to give me access and the password for that service account to set up the email. And I said, no worries. You are in luck. And so I did a little, uh, just basically text walk through, through Twitter with this person and they said a video would be helpful and then a couple other people have actually asked me about this in the meantime and so I figured, you know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a quick video about it, okay? So let's go ahead and pick a flow that we want to collaborate and have someone else work with us on, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this Forms to Power BI demo, okay? We can see here that I currently own all of the connections, right? There's a form step, there's a BI step, then there's an email step. Well, so what if I wanted to have someone else like that service account or a different person, like I want these emails to come from somewhere else than me. How do I go about doing that? All right, it's very simple. Are you ready? First things first, you need to add another owner. Now, before you add an owner, you should let them know, okay? So, hey, Gabriel. Yeah. I'm going to add you as an owner to my flow so that you can add your email in the step so that all the emails for this flow come from you instead of me. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Okay, so now that I let him know, I'm going to go ahead and add another owner here and I'm going to type Gabriel. Oh, and there's a lot of them, so I'm going to go ahead and type his last name as well. And there he is, Gabriel Hollinsworth. Perfect. So now it says owners of the flow will have full access to connections. Now, this is the thing to know. As soon as I add him, he can use this flow and kick it off with all my connections, right? So make sure that whoever you're sharing your flows with, you trust. Okay, so let's go ahead and click OK. Now we can see I'm an owner and Gabriel's an owner. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and switch over to Gabriel's view. Be right back. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and go into my flows. And since John shared that with me, it'll be under Team Flows here. Forms to Power BI. We'll click Edit. And then this right here is the step we want to change the connection for. So I'll go ahead and click My Connection right here. And make sure that, yep, so that it's now connected to my email to come from me. And we'll click Save. And there you go. Okay, and so now we're back. I'm going to go ahead and go back into this flow here. And check it out. You can see that the Office connection now, uh, the Outlook connection now belongs to Gabriel. And so the form steps are still coming from me. The Power BI steps from me. And now the email gets sent from Gabriel. So imagine if this was your IT department and you had a service account where you wanted all the mail to come from. You could add them as an owner. They could go ahead and replace that step. Now Gabriel was already in flow. So he had a connection he could select, right? But let's just go take a look really fast. If you didn't have one, you can see there's this right here, add new connection. So if your IT team had never touched Flow before, or if that email box had never been set up in Flow before, you could go ahead and click add new connection right here. And you see this nice little prompt comes up and asks you to go ahead and log in with that email address and password. It will then go ahead and tie it to that action. And you can then send emails from a controlled source and make everybody happy. All right. That's it. That's my tutorial for the moment. You guys like it? Good. We'll talk again soon. See, it's really a simple concept once you understand it. 
couple of steps, we can now both work on a flow and whoever's information we want can, can be present and control each step. Easy as that. All right, guys, if you have suggestions for the next video, go ahead and drop them in the comments. Please go ahead and click that like button, wherever it is, I don't even know. Also, when you get an opportunity, subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us to know that you are along on the journey with us. And as always, much love. Thank you guys. See you in the next video.